So I kind of made a decision on, you know, if the Eagles should really go after, uh, you know, a wide receiver. And I know Emmanuel Sanders is not realistic right now, but watching that Houston game, the Houston-Miami Dolphins game, watching Devontae Parker that actually put up six catches, 134 yards. Other than that one catch, that was like a mistake because uh, Osweiler threw it to another receiver and then the defender came in to, to touch it and all of a sudden it popped out. To go further up the field. And Devontae Parker was staying in that spot. Um, Devontae Parker made some good catches. I saw him on a wide receiver screen. He went upfield pretty damn fast. Um, and you know. You know Kenny Stills being out. And you know they don't have the fan, most fantastic weapons on offense. Um, but you know running back wise they're set of course. But um, other, than, and other than the you know wide receiver core. It's not you know nothing amazing. But hey. Devontae Parker looks good. So I think that Devontae Parker put up his trade value just by this game. Um, and it's not a, 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 you know, it's it's not a, he got lucky this game or whatnot. The guy's got speed. The guy's got talent. Um, I know the, you know, the Dolphins want a third round pick for him. But hey, if you have no other choice and Howie Roseman in this front office have good relations with the Miami Dolphins in their front office... I don't know what Adam Gase wants to do with Devontae Parker because Adam Gase is a fucking asshole because Devontae Parker's agent is is uh, his wide receiver agent, whatever. Apparently, Adam Gase has been lying about a whole bunch of shit, lying about if he's injured, how he feels about football, you know, shit like that. So, if you have no other choice, no other alternative, and you want to bring somebody like him in here, I have no problem with it because the kid has speed. The guy has <coughs> the guy has 50-50 ball skills. Um, the guy can run, the run down and, and, and stretch it out. So, you know, you put Nelson Nagler, Zach Ertz, and you got Alshon Jeffrey. It's a lot, you know, you got a lot of weapons on offense. And adding Devontae Parker, especially Devontae, it'll be a lot easier for Devontae Parker, and it'll be a lot more easy for everybody else on this offense. So, hey. If there's, if they can't, if teams are fleecing and fleecing for, you know, wide receivers, hey, if you want to spend a third round pick on Devontae Parker, I'd rather spend a third round pick on Devontae Parker than a second round pick um, on Amari Cooper, okay? Uh, that's just truth. Um, so if the third round pick that takes it, fourth round pick that takes it for Devontae Parker coming here, go, go take him. Just watch that game that he was in and really see the speed on him, see, you know, He's got the talent, okay? Number number two, Gase was sitting him out of games. Number three, he never even targeted him, not just because he wasn't open, but he never really tar- you know, wanted to throw the ball to him that much. So I liked what I saw from him. That's probably one of the reasons why I watched that game. And I want, you know, I like I'm a big Deshaun Watson fan as well, because you know, he's you know, I, I like to see that kid do well in this league. So um if a third, fourth round picks all it takes to get him here, go ahead and get him. Um, I know receiver's not the most important position right now, but, you know, that's only if they get a corner. If they get a corner, I'll be happy. Cool. But if they don't, then I don't know. I don't see them not getting a corner because they're strong in the cornerback market. But, hey, if it all takes is a third, fourth-round pick to go get Devontae Parker, go get his ass and bring him here. You'd be stupid not to. Um, but that's about it, guys. So I got to work. <sighs> I got to work uh, the rest of the night. Well, today I got to go in late. I got to get out late, so... I'll see you guys later tonight. All right, so shake squad up, files five.